So we wanted to try a couple of things here. I couldn't uh, make the follow me stuff work last time. So I want to try it again. All right, so we want to try and get this going. Let's see if Please I... set the parameters. Go home on me. Let's see here. Make sure flight cell altitude is 100 feet. Uh, current 74. Make sure you're surrounded. Okay. Follow initiated. Nope. Not working again. <clears throat> Says uh, aircraft uh, hovering due to poor GPS reception. So that is. Uh, Follow mode terminated. So that is not working. <clears throat> my new. Uh, my beta. My. This is a beta version of the app and it's still not working properly. Let's do orbit. Not on aircraft. On me. Is it going to screw that up? It says the GPS signal is weak and a uh, signal cannot be acquired. So none, nothing that requires GPS is, uh, is working again. So the problem is GPS. So let's go ahead and land it and uh, try with the iPhone and I'll bet you I'll bet you anything it works with the iPhone I don't know if any of these are recording well enough I'm gonna kinda try and stand close to this camera I wasn't expecting to have to uh, to record audio so what I'm doing right now uh, is i have switching from the tablet to the phone to my iPhone the tablet did not work for any of the follow features so now I'm switching to the iPhone and I have a suspicion that this is going to work just fine and I've also fixed my other camera problems I got myself a new uh, a new remote control for my camera so that's working now yeah I'm not really worried about what the drone is filming right now but I went ahead and started it go ahead and take off we got a compass abnormality and it's just drifting. Okay, it's back. Compass error is back. I'm trying to get some of my volume so I can turn it up. Okay, yeah, couldn't hear nothing. I've never had that happen, I've never had it lose compass. compass lock while flying that's a little that's a little nerve-wracking okay so let's see if this works so we're gonna fly over here and what I'm gonna do is turn it around turn it around now I'm gonna try the the orbit using me okay 49 feet change it to Two laps. Starting orbit mission. Yeah, worked. Worked no problem. It absolutely worked no problem. I and this is using the GPS too. So well, crapola man. working fine everything's working perfect so it is it is the app all the GPS functions of that tablet work there's no doubt about that I mean I've, I've used all the GPS functions in it so it's working it's definitely I, I bet you most people don't use this feature and they have like I never did I was just trying to learn how to fly and then I was like well I'll try some of these automated features well I gave them a try for the first time and none of them worked you know so yeah so it's definitely looking like once again 
the iPhone app for almost everything in my experience is always better. I mean, it's it doesn't have bugs, and it's the same way with DJI. I've watched plenty of videos to know that. So this is uh, this is a little disappointing. Uh, and I've got the beta app. I've got the app that's uh, one, uh, you know, one version ahead of what everybody else has got. So that orbits okay. So let's find out if it follows. Please set follow initiated. Okay. So now it's following me. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around and see if it works. Let's uh, actually I could take you with me. All right. Hold on. All right, I got you on a selfie pole because I didn't have nothing else. All right, so there's the drone right there in the sky. Hopefully it's not shaking around too much. But yeah, it's falling. As I walk towards it, it's backing up. So it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. Raise the gimbal a little. And it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now I'm gonna walk down here. Uh, See, it's, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And it's just my experience, man. I hate to say this because I'm an Android fan. And iOS apps always work. They always work better. And this is another example of it. Now watch. You guys will see it. I'm going to go back now. And I'll bet you anything, that bugger is following me, isn't it? Yeah, it's working just like it's supposed to work. So, like, okay, so let's go over here. Let me uh, put you guys over here. So I'm going to go over here. The only bad thing... It's following me like a big dog, dude. Okay. Okay, guys. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty proof positive. That's pretty proof positive that the iOS there's nothing wrong with the drone. It works exactly as it's supposed to. It's the app the app is the issue. So I'm going to send an email to Altel and see if they can get this worked out. But I mean, at least it's confirmed now. So I'm going to, you know, finish off this battery, fly my other battery, get some video of the, of the sunset. And, but yeah, there's no doubt that Uh, you know what sucks is they just got the the flight record uh, feature added and man I was stoked about that I am talking I was talking I'm talking that I was uh, super happy about that look at I go towards it and it'll back up see it's 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 doing exactly what it's supposed to and doing it very well I might add but they got the uh, flight log feature just recently, man, and I was stoked about that. I couldn't have been happier. But guess during that update, they screwed up. You know, that's that's it's a delicate balance. So uh, you know, on Android, the follow me features and stuff like that are not working for me. But on Android, it's even it's even more difficult to kind of pinpoint pinpoint what the problem is because you got so many different pieces of hardware. It might just be <laughs> my hardware or just a handful of other hardware. So, you never know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another video. I have confirmed what the problem is now. Very confident of it. I will be in contact with Altel, who has been wonderful, by the way, so far. Amazing customer service so far. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll keep you guys posted.